Do you know what has happened a few minutes ago and yesterday? There are so many signs that God is sending your way. These signs are meant to protect you and help you prosper in life. But the question is, are you paying attention to these signs? This message has come to you because you might have missed some crucial signs that God sent your way. This message is a reminder and an update for the people who have ignored these signs. It's about what is happening to them right now. Many people in your neighborhood in your relationships, in your city, are ignoring these kinds of signs. They are becoming the target of the enemy's evil schemes and traps. There are so many monitoring spirits around you. But are you aware of them? The enemy is not at rest and he won't rest until the great and glorious return of Jesus Christ happens. But here's the thing. Many people in your city have surrendered to the evil. Many people in your city gave up on these circumstances. Many people in your city are regretting the decision of choosing the devil instead of God in their life. Many people in your city have faced the righteous wrath of God's righteous judgment, who were mocking God and ignoring his signs continuously. These incidents have happened and they are happening even now, while you are receiving these words. God has always communicated with his people throughout the history. From the time of Moses leading the Israelites out of Egypt to Joseph interpreting dreams in Pharaoh's court. In each era, God has used various means to send messages and signs to his people, guiding them, warning them, and comforting them in times of need. Throughout the Bible, we see numerous examples of God's divine intervention and the communication. Whether it was through dreams, visions, miracles or the words of prophets. God consistently reached out to his people to reveal his will and plans for them. He never left them alone or without guidance. Even in our modern era, God continues to communicate with us albeit in different ways. He speaks to us through His Word, the Bible, which contains timeless truths and wisdom for every aspect of life. He speaks to us through prayer, inviting us into a conversation with Him where we can pour out hearts and listen for His still small voice. He speaks to us through the promptings of His Spirit guiding us and leading us along the path of righteousness. Yet, despite God's constant communication and the signs He sends, we often fail to recognize His voice or heed His warnings. We become distracted by the noise of the world, consumed by our own desires and ambitions. We ignore the gentle nudges of the Holy Spirit and dismiss the signs 
that God places before us. Sometimes we even mock his presence, questioning his power or doubting his existence. We may scoff at the idea of divine intervention of ridicule those who claim to have experienced miracles. In our arrogance, we believe that we know better than God. We can handle life on our own without His help. Tell you people of God, my brothers and sisters, this is a dangerous path to walk. For when we ignore or mock God's voice, we close ourselves off to His blessings and protection. We wander aimlessly in the darkness, vulnerable to the schemes of the enemy and the pitfalls of our own making. God's signs are not to be taken lightly, and for those who have mocked Him in any time, whether in reality or in thoughts, let me encourage you. There is still hope. God's mercy is infinite and his love for his children is unending. Even those who have strayed from the path, who have surrendered to evil, given up on their circumstances or regretted their decisions, can find redemption in his grace. God's righteous judgment is not a punishment, but a call to return to him. It's a wake-up call for those who have been ignoring his signs. It's a reminder that the enemy's evil schemes and the traps are temporary, but God's love is eternal. The enemy may not rest, but neither does God's love for you. He is always there, sending signs, offering protection, and waiting for his children to return to him. So pay attention to the signs. Be aware of the monitoring spirits around you. Stand strong in your faith and remember that the enemy's reign is temporary. The great and glorious return of Jesus Christ is inevitable. And until then, God's love remains a beacon of hope in your city, in your relationships, and in your life. And for now, this is what God is saying to you, my chosen one. Thank you for not avoiding this particular message, this particular sign. Many people in your city who have mocked me are facing the consequences of choosing the serpent, the father of deception and lies. They have been betrayed and now they are seeking refuge in me. My child, I have often urged you to turn to me before it's too late. Those who ignore my words are the ones who are betrayed. But as I have promised, I love you more than anyone. And I promise to be your ultimate help, no matter what has happened in your life. Always remember, I fulfill my promises and I will fulfill them in you. This is why, my child, I ask you to persevere and be brave. Be patient and trust wholly in me, for I am working in your favor. My grace and mercy will never depart from you, for my love for you is limitless. Yet to fully receive my blessings, you must cast off all doubts and remove any impure or unfitting thoughts that distance you from me. 
discard them and uproot them from your heart. Then only you will delight in the unique and special blessings that are the fruits of righteousness and integrity. Do not surrender to trials, for you were predestined to overcome. From the beginning, I fashion you for a divine purpose to live a blessed and prosperous life marred by victories. Do not dread the struggles, tests, and tribulation that may come, for I will be your side, encouraging and strengthening you through every challenge. Remember, each difficulty you face is nothing but another opportunity to rise up and become greater. As you persevere and be brave, I will complete the work I begin in you. I will pour out upon your life joy and abundant blessings leading you into an existence full of peace and prosperity. Never forget, you are under my watch and care. My presence and grace are unceasing, and no person or thing can steal away the blessings I have reserved for you and the generations to come. So, my child, wander fearlessly and seek my refuge, not that of the devil. Never mock my word or my presence, and no harm shall come near you, says the Lord. The people of God, when you have received these words, the divine message of God, don't leave this video without saying this miraculous prayer, for this prayer holds miraculous powers. Say this now. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and awe, recognizing your sovereignty over the vast universe and your unfailing love for us. Despite our shortcomings, Lord, we praise you for your greatness and your intimate care for each one of us. In this moment of prayer, we lift our voices and our spirits to honor you, our creator and sustainer. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who orchestrates the galaxies and knows every star by name. Yet. You choose to be intimately involved in our lives. How marvelous and profound is your love for us, O oh God. We thank you, God, for your presence in our lives, for guiding us through the twists and turns of our earthly journey. You are the anchor in our storms, the light in our darkness, and the rock upon which we stand. We praise you for your faithfulness, Father, which knows no end. We pray for your peace to fill our hearts and minds as we face the challenges and uncertainties of life ever. Let your presence be a soothing balm, bringing comfort in times of sorrow and clarity in times of confusion. In our praise, we find refuge and strength. We lift up our hopes, dreams, and desires to you, Lord, knowing that you are the giver of every good and perfect gift. We surrender our fears and anxieties for you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. We praise you for your constant care and provision, Father. And in a world where negative voices and naysayers may seek to discourage us, we take refuge in your promises. We know that your plans are only for our good 
and we trust in your providence. Lord, please grant us the wisdom to distinguish your voice from the distractions and deceptions that surrounds us. And please help us never miss out on any sign you send. We offer our prayers of gratitude for your loving care, Lord, and ask for your continued protection in the days to come. Please, Lord, walk with us, guide us, and keep us safe, O oh, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we offer this prayer to you. Amen.